Hey everybody, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. We're constantly updating it with new content and never seen before content. So if you want to get the latest from Harvest, hit the subscribe button. Greg Laurie here with some thoughts about how to resist temptation. This is a replica of a first century Roman sword. This is what the Roman soldier wore when he was in close combat. And the Bible says, take the sword of the spirit. Now, what is the sword of the Spirit? Well, it's the Word of God. That's what Scripture tells us. This is my old Bible from days gone by. You can see it's really beat up. In fact, here's a whole page missing. I don't think it's because I disagreed with this, but it literally got ripped out somehow. It's all marked up and beat up because I read this Bible. I memorized from this Bible, and it's been said, a Bible that's falling apart is usually an indication of a life that isn't. How did Jesus resist the devil in the wilderness? Remember the devil came and said, why don't you take that rock and turn it into a piece of bread? And Jesus said, it is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from God's mouth. Then the devil said, why don't you jump off of this high spot? And the angels will catch you. Hey, the devil quoted scripture. Jesus said, it is written, you shall not tempt the Lord your God. So we're in a battle. Every time the devil comes at you with something, you fight back with your sword. You defend, you deflect. And then, of course, you attack with the sword. Attack. Or like you see in Gladys, they go like this. I don't know why they do this. Like that, right? You attack with the sword. And that is when we share the gospel with others. I'm going to be talking about that this weekend at Harvest in my message, Faith 101. But until then, let's be memorizing Scripture, quoting Scripture, and living by Scripture.